Nay, their endeavors keeps the wanted peace, but there is uh, an army of children, little unfledged hawks that cry out at the top of question, and are most tyrannically clap for it. These are now the fashion, and so, brattle, the common stages, so they call them, that many wearing rapiers are afraid of goose quills, and dare scarce come hit to them. What are they, children? Who maintains them? How are they escorted? Will they pursue the quality no longer than they can sing? Will they not say afterwards if they should grow themselves to common players, as it is most like? If their means are no better, their writers do them wrong, to make them exclaim against their own succession. Faith, there has been much to do on both sides, and the nation holds it no sin to tar them into controversy. There was for a while no money to bid for an argument, unless the poet and the player went to cuffs in the question. Is it possible? Oh, there has been much throwing about of brains. Do the boys carry it away? Aye, that they do, my lord. Hercules and his load do. It is not very strange, for my uncle is king of Denmark, and those that would make mouths at him while my father lived give twenty, forty, fifty, a hundred ducats apiece for his picture and little. So blood there is something in this more than natural. If philosophy could find it out. They are the players. Gentlemen, you are welcome to Elsinore. Your hands. Come then. The appurtenance of welcomeness, fashion, and ceremony. Let me comply with you in this garb, lest my extent to the players, which I tell you must show fairly outwards, should more appear like entertainment than yours. You are welcome, but my uncle, father, and aunt, mother are deceived. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, for any fiction, any dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all the visage won? Tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit? And all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him? Or he to Hikiba, that he should weep for her? What, what would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? He would drown the stage of tears, and cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty, and appall the free, confound the ignorant, and amaze indeed, the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peak like John a dream, Unpregnant of my cause, and can say nothing, no, not for a king, upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward who calls me a villain, breaks my pate across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie in the throat, as deep as to the lungs? Who does me this? Ha, swans, I should take it. For it cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered, and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or this I should have fatted all the region tights. With this slave's a fit, awful, bloody, bawdy villain. Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. Why, what an ass am I? This is most brave, that I, the son of a dear father and mother, Prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must like a whore unpack my hearts with words, and fall a cursing like a very drab, a stallion, fay upon far, upon my brains. Hump! I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malfactions. For murder, though it have no tongue, will speak. With most miraculous organ, I have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks, I'll tent him to the quick. If they do blench, I know my cause. The spirit that I have seen may be a devil, and the devil has power to assume a pleasing shape, yeah, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, 
as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing when I'll catch the conscience of the king. In case anyone was wondering, this is uh, Hamlet's book that we had him reading. It's also Hafez's uh, favorite graphic novel. <laughs> <laughs> Play more. Don't put that on there. No, Hot. And perhaps out of my weakness and melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> Metal rascal. Peak like John a dream. Unpregnant of my cause. And can say nothing. No, not poor king, upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me a villain? Breaks my page across, plucks off my beard. <laughs> yeah, I want to kill you. What charm would pluck? Assume a pleasing shape, yeah, and perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits. Abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than hit this. The plays the thing when I'll catch the conscience of the king. Oh, Fez, did you really say melancholy? We're shooting a film for school. Yeah, for Fez. It's a project for Hamlet. Yeah. 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 It's okay. literature related. Hamlet puppets, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, just to make sure you're off. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll explain it out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because sometimes they do some things as far as like that, but if you're doing something... All yeah, of those yeah he was the only one doing anything yeah, wrong. Was, <laughs> you're going to kick anybody out, kick him out. Good to see you. Just kick him out. Yeah. Thanks. Alright, let's go. Why are we just like... We just almost got kicked. We just almost got kicked. I recorded that. I did record... I just got you guys in there. Alright. I did record that. Yeah, and perhaps... Out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing when I'll catch the conscience of the king.